Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and on today's video, we're going to be running another sample of gold ore through our turnkey system. Here's a sample we're going to be running. It's a quartz vein sample, and this is actually some stuff that I gathered up from our claim here uh, last fall. And now that it's kind of thawed out here in springtime, we're going to end up running this stuff. Um, so I'm going to crush this stuff up, give you a little tour here. Here's our jaw crusher module. This is going to crush the material down to about half inch. Gonna come up this conveyor into this hopper, feed out from the hopper up this conveyor belt into the hammer mill where it gets crushed down to powder, and then onto the shaker table where the gold's gonna come across here in these two little uh, buckets here, and then the tailings are gonna spiral up that spiral classifier there into the tub, and the water is gonna go down here into the concrete uh, sump here and just recycle the water over and over again. So let's get this thing going, and we'll see how much gold we can get.
All right, guys, we've finished our run. It took us about an hour and 10 minutes to run that whole bag. I figured it was about a ton or maybe a little more. And so that pencils through our uh, one ton per hour turnkey system here. And the table's pretty much cleaned itself off. I wanted to show you here up close. Here's the top three grooves. And the gold just piles up in those three grooves. And when it comes across, it gets into this long groove up the cleaning plane and up under the water bar. Some of the gold gets past. There's a little bit here, a little bit there. But then once it gets down here, you don't see hardly any gold in any of the grooves. Here's a second long groove up under the cleaning plane. But when you, by the time you get down here, all the gold's gone. By the time you get down here, all the gold's gone. It's pretty much all working its way up. Some of it comes down here and just cascades down along the long grooves. But you can see here it makes a sweep right down in here into the number one. And then the bigger, the larger gold comes down here under the, the water bar and just makes a, see the sun's right, makes a pile. It's most of it's washed down now, but there, you can see there's a little bit of pile left over from the water stripping. And so now what I gotta do is I gotta brush the table down, I'll turn it back on, and I'll, and I'll just brush out all the grooves, brush everything down this way, down into the number one and number two, and then we'll pan it out and we'll recover our gold. All right guys, here are two buckets. There's the number one, which doesn't even have a pound of stuff in it. And a lot of that stuff you see in there is stuff that came down when I brushed down the table. And here's the number two. There's probably two or three pounds in there. Um, mostly black sand. There's very, very little gold in here. I may pan it out, uh, but most of our gold is going to be in here. So let's go pan these out, and uh, we'll get our gold refined and melted down into a little button. All right, guys, here's our concentrates in a pan. I'll get these panned down, uh, but you can see I'll just give them a little swirl. Oops. You can see the gold in the corner there. There we go. There it's kind of showing up. So let me get it cleaned up a little bit, but we got a, we got a pretty nice little gold line in there. All right guys, well here's our gold. And it's a little hard to see against the gold pan, but there's most of our gold right here. There's some that's come down. There's some of the bigger pieces that got washed down there, but there's the majority of it. So now we'll get it cleaned up and melted down into a little button. All right guys, so we got our, this is our number one pan down. Um, I am going to get this cleaned up and I'm, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. I gotta get the gold exposed a little bit better, but I'm gonna suck it up with a snuffer bottle. And then once it's all sucked up in the bottom of the snuffer bottle, I'm gonna try and not get much black sand. I'm gonna try and keep it mostly gold. But if I get a little bit, that's okay. And I'll get it in the snuffer bottle. And then once I have it full in the snuffer bottle, I'm gonna filter the water out through this shop towel. And it's just sitting in a little cup here. And we'll get our, our very high grade gold concentrates with a little bit of uh, black sand and, and base metals. There's a little bit of copper and stuff in there, but um, we'll get her in here. And then I'm gonna nip that off and I'll show you how I refine it from there. All right guys, so I got my snuffer bottle here. Just gonna suck up the gold. And like I said earlier, I can get a little bit of black sand um, or sulfides, those will oxidize away, but I can't get, I can't get too many or uh, it forms a, an oxide film on top of the cupel here and I'll show you that in a minute, how that works. But I just gotta work the gold out of here, get it as clean as I can. All right, so we got most of our gold in here. I just take the straw out here. Careful not to lose anything. And then I take my thumb or my finger, shake all the gold down to the bottom. And I just drip it in the 
in the shop towel there. And we're just trying to get it as dry as we can. There we go. There's still some in the gold pan I got to get, but you can share a little pile of gold down there. So we'll get it cleaned up and get that wrung out. And then I'll show you how to, how, how uh, I use this little cupel here and refine our gold. All right, so I'm just gonna take our towel here. I've got our little, there we go, got our little gold in the bottom. And I'm gonna wring out as much water as we can. So I'm gonna put this in a really hot furnace and we don't want a lot of water in there with it. So now we've got our little gold sack there at the bottom. Just cut that off. Doesn't work very good with tin snips. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cupel and put it in the furnace, get it up to temperature about 1750 degrees. Then I'm gonna take our little gold sack here, put it in that hot cupel. All the paper is gonna burn off and the gold's gonna be left. And then I've in the past I've done lead, but this time I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna use uh, bismuth as the refining metal. And bismuth is pretty cool because it has a lot of the same properties as lead. It has about the same melting point, about the same uh, uh, melting point for the oxide, but it's, it's not nearly as toxic to humans um, in the environment. So I'm gonna start using bismuth for this process. It's, a, it's more expensive than the lead. It's about three times as much. But in this thing here, I have two pounds of bismuth, two and a half pounds, something. Bought it on eBay or Amazon or something. And uh, this will last me forever. I think it cost, I don't know, 25 bucks or something. It was, it was about $10 a pound, which is, uh, it, you have to pay quite a bit when you buy it in small amounts. But for something like this, I would use a piece of bismuth like probably about this big. When you're doing when you're doing your refining like this, you try and use I don't know roughly half gold to half um, oxidizing base metal. So if there's you know I don't know I'm guessing here, but if you if you have for example five grams of gold in here, use about five to ten grams of bismuth. And uh, you know if your button doesn't come out nice and shiny gold, just add another ten grams of bismuth and keep cupelling until that that button comes out shiny gold in your cupel and that's when you'll know all the base metals are off of it. So let's go put this in the furnace and uh, we'll see how we go here getting getting this thing refined. All right guys so I just got our our little gold packet in there and the bismuth is uh, melted now. I couldn't do everything all at once so I had to put it in and then show you the video but um, we'll get that uh, cupel in away and see how much gold we got. The one we're doing is in the left one here. Uh, this is something else. I'm trying to use my furnace efficiently. When I got it going, I try and do a bunch of different stuff. So, um, yeah, we'll check back on this one on the left in a little bit and see how much gold we got out of our one ton of material. All right, guys, here's our nice shiny little bead. There's a little bit of junk on it. That'll chip right off. But it came out, turned out nice and yellow. And we'll get her cleaned up here a little bit and get her on the scale. All right, here's our button. Get her on the scale here. See how much gold we have in our one ton sample we ran. About nine grams almost. So right about a third of an ounce. So that's not too bad. This was, um, again, just some stuff I picked up off the ground out near the portal of the mine. Uh, you can check out 
some of our older videos from last year uh, about getting some of this stuff. But uh, yeah, that's not too bad for just picking it up off the ground and running it through the system for a little over an hour. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching our videos. If you guys have any questions or comments, you can find our contact information in the description below. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.